This is BenQ's W1800i. This is their newest 4K Ultra HD home cinema projector. It does a fantastic job at night, giving you crisp, color accurate images. And also, it will do the same during the day, even with the lights on. Let's take a closer look and tell you a little bit more about this great machine. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. So in the UK and Europe, this is the BenQ W1800i. And the most similar model that I could find in the US is the TK700 STI. Now there are definitely some differences between these projectors, but they're the most closely matched that I could find. So I'll leave the link in the description for both of these models for you to check out yourself. Now one thing that I really like about these models from BenQ recently is the fact that they come pre-calibrated. And I do wish that more manufacturers would do the same. The remote control that comes with the projector is a non-backlit but perfectly functional remote. It feels nice in the hand and all the buttons are very clearly marked. I do however still think that as it's a projector and you're mostly operating it in a dark room, a backlight on that remote would be ideal. The package that comes with this projector is absolutely fine. You get all of the normal gumpf and you also get that media stick. Now that media stick plugs into the back and I'll show you that in just a second. You also had obviously the power cables, but I did get a second power cable, which was like a figure of eight power cable, which I just couldn't work out what that was for. Can anyone out there help me with that? There is definitely a familiarity with the design of this BenQ projector. It's certainly like previous generations, but a little bit like the iPhone. It seems to have just been chiseled off around the edges and squared up a little bit. On top of the projector, you have the focus and zoom rings. And at the back, you also have the physical buttons so that you can fully function this projector without the need for the remote control. Ideally, I guess if you're giving a demonstration, for instance, or a display. On the back, as well as the housing for the media stick, which I'll show you in just a second, there's an audio out, an RS-232 slot, and two HDMI 2.2 ports. Right, let's open this up and then pop that media stick inside. And this effectively is the operating system for the projector that you're actually just loading in. There is no physical operating system without this being there. And this runs on Android 9.0. So just before I fire up the projector, let me just tell you a few things about it. Well, this is designed to be a very much a at home movie watching projector. With its filmmaker mode, it gives you the picture that the director wanted you to see. BenQ, as we know, has got incredible color accuracy and this projector, believe me, is no different. With the media stick, you have direct access to Android TV and also the Google Play Store. You can also access Prime Video direct from the remote control, but there isn't the ability to do that with Netflix, and I'll come on to that in just a few moments. This uses the same Texas Instruments pixel shifting technology to create that 4K Ultra HD image. And if you're after that big screen movie experience, then just from two and a half meters or just over eight feet, you can get a 100 inch screen, which is what I'll be projecting on today. And if you've got a three meter distance, you'll get 120 inches. There is the ability to align the screen as well, and I'll show you that in this video. And you've got the ability to rotate it if you wanted to. So it does mean that you can have this off on an angle and it will work no problem. Right, let's fire this thing up and get it turned on. So the home screen will be really familiar to anyone that's seen an Android TV or Google device before. Everything is laid out very easy and it's definitely a very simple operating system. As I mentioned before, there is no Netflix, but I will come on to that in just one second. The one thing that I wanted to show you first of all was keystone correction. Now this is where you can change the image on the screen. Now this is done electronically and it's not normally a feature that has been associated with these lamp type projectors, but I think it's really good and it works really well. You've also got the ability to rotate the screen so you can have it on an angle, in a, off to the left or right, and it will work brilliantly. You've got different options with the menu system. You can have either a basic menu like this one or a slightly more complicated menu. As all of you know, the lighter the room is, the harder it is for a projector to project a really good image. But at 2000 lumens and 10,000 to one contrast ratio, I don't think this does a bad job. And as you can see that blind coming down on the right hand side, the picture will just start to ping a little bit more. If you are seeing any flicker at all, don't worry, you don't see that in reality. That's just the frequency of the camera and it not recording quite correct. But it looks absolutely fantastic when that image is dark. And if you still look off to the right, you can still see a high degree of light is coming through onto that wall. So I think the majority of you, as long as you're closing a blind, will get an absolutely exceptional image even in the middle of the day. You can even watch it with a light on. As you can see, it doesn't even look too bad with a light on as well. 
What's your thoughts on those chairs, by the way? Leave a comment in the comment box below. I have done a video on them as well, and I'll leave that up above if you're interested in that type of furniture. But I absolutely love them. They look great in this room too. What's your thoughts? Now, I do have to say that these projectors being pre-calibrated before they arrive on your door is definitely not a gimmick. The color accuracy of this is just exceptional. And for BenQ projectors that I've had in the past, it's been exactly the same. I've always been really, really impressed with how natural they look, especially in HDR mode, like what you're seeing now. It just looks perfect. So let's just quickly address that Netflix issue which I mentioned earlier. You do have apps like Apple TV, Disney Plus and Prime as we said, as well as a whole host of others via the Google Play Store. But when it comes to Netflix, Netflix will only allow their app on certain platforms. From what I understand from the information given to me from BenQ, they are in negotiation for that to be put on this device, which is the QS01, that is the media stick, but at the time of doing this review it is not there. Now I know that there are workarounds that other people will do but if you just plugged in for instance a fire stick or an apple tv then you can get it via that means obviously you've got separate hdmi ports to put anything you want in but at the time of doing this review you haven't got netflix there Okay, so I've waited a few hours now and it's now dark and as you can see, the picture is just incredible. Again, any flicker you see, you don't see that in reality. That is the camera causing that. But the colors, again, exceptional. The brightness is just beautiful. I've also now hooked this up to my PS5 so that we can really test that input lag because this could be one of the best gaming projectors that you'll see in 2021. Now there's not many projectors on the market that can do this, which is 16 milliseconds in fast mode, supporting 4K at 60 hertz. It will also do four milliseconds, and that's 1080p at 240 hertz, or eight milliseconds at 1080p at 120 hertz. These are also the same figures as the TK700, the US model that we spoke about right at the very beginning. So for you gamers out there, this may well be the perfect projector for you. Like with all of these types of projectors, the sound quality is at best average. There's one 5 watt speaker in there, but you do get the support of eARC, which is an enhanced audio return channel, so you can hook it up to a soundbar or something like a 5 or 7.1 surround sound system. You also get 3D support, which again is another nice feature. I'm not sure how many of you guys still use 3D. I'm not a great fan of it, but I know a lot of people do when it comes to a projector. Here on this projector, you get something up to 15,000 lamp hours so again that is pretty good and the bulb is replaceable as well if you want to. Now when it comes to price that obviously depends on when you're watching it at the time of doing this review it was circa a thousand pounds but again as I said I'll leave the very latest price links in the description for you. So guys what's your thoughts about this projector is this something which is going to be on the radar for you to purchase any questions let me know and I'll do my best to answer them just leave a comment in the box below. Thank you so much for watching this video I do hope that it was helpful for you and if it was please do consider just giving it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed hit that red button. Guys, thank you again and I look forward to seeing you on the next review from All Things Tech.